consequence of withdrawing the finance bill is the reduction of our revenue targets by 346 billion. We have since, after extensive consultations, struck a middle ground and we will be proposing to the National Assembly a budget cut of not the entire 346, but a budget cut of 177 billion and borrowing the difference. Whatever we are going to borrow the difference will increase our fiscal deficit from what I intended to be 3.3% of our GDP, it will now go up to 4.6% of GDP. 47 state corporations with overlapping and duplicating functions will be dissolved, resulting in the elimination of their operational and maintenance costs, and their functions will be integrated into the respective line ministries. The number of advisors in government shall be reduced by 50% within the public service with immediate effect. Budget lines providing for the operations of the office of the First Lady, the spouse of the Deputy President, and the Prime Cabinet Secretary will be removed. Public servants who attain the retirement age of 60 shall be required to immediately proceed on retirement with no extensions to their tenure of service whatsoever. The purchase of new motor vehicles by the government is suspended for 12 months except for security agencies while a new policy on transport for public officers will be developed. All non-essential travel by state and public officers is hereby suspended. I have today appointed an independent task force to carry out a comprehensive forensic audit of our public debt and report to us in the next three months. I believe these changes will set out our country on a trajectory towards economic transformation, enabling us to achieve the strategic objectives of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda and deliver our commitment to radically enhance opportunities for all Kenyans and transform our country.